Hey boos and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make broccoli casserole. This recipe is super easy and super affordable. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys how to make this delicious recipe. So for ingredients we will be using three bags of frozen broccoli, one bag of cheddar cheese, a half bag of mozzarella cheese, two onions, two eggs, one sleeve of Ritz crackers, a cup of mayonnaise, one can of cream of bacon, complete seasoning, garlic and pepper seasoning, black peppercorns, and Larry seasoning salt. Alright, so first I'm going to start off by chopping up my onions. I'm only going to be using one and a half onions. And I like to chop these a little bit more on the finer side, especially because I'm going to be using a lot of onions. If you guys don't like onions like that, you can always use one onion or just a half an onion. But just realize, onions is what really makes this recipe. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any recipes. I post a new recipe about once a week. Also, make sure you guys are checking the description box. I always post a full recipe and step-by-step -step directions. That way when you guys make this, it will be a lot easier. Alright, so once I'm done chopping up these onions, I am just going to set this aside. So we can get started on these eggs and I'm just going to crack two eggs and I'm going to whisk these. I add eggs to this recipe just for a binding agent so don't forget this step it's really important if you forget this step your broccoli casserole will literally fall apart. So now I'm just going to put my fire on high and let that water come to a boil because we are going to be blanching this broccoli. Okay so once that water has came to a boil. I am going to add in all of the frozen broccoli and then we're just going to let that boil for about three minutes. You don't want to boil this for any more than three minutes because I'm not trying to overcook this broccoli. It's just when I add it to the casserole, I do not want it to be watery. So for seasonings, we're just going to keep this real simple. I'm using one teaspoon of garlic and pepper seasoning, two teaspoons of complete seasoning, one fourth teaspoons of Larry seasoning, and I'm just going to give that a good shake. Okay, so now I am just going to set that aside and we are going to add that broccoli that we have blanched and drained. And we're going to add all of the seasoning that we just mixed to that broccoli. And of course, I'm just going to give that a good stir. Once I'm done stirring this up, I'm going to add in my onions. Then of course, after I add those onions, I'm going to give that a good stir as well. And then I'm going to add one can of cream of bacon. If you guys don't like bacon, you can always substitute this for cream of mushroom. I just like to add cream of bacon to mine because it really brings that casserole to a whole new level. Now I'm going to add a cup of mayonnaise. You can use any mayonnaise of your choice. I just prefer to use Hellman's. I feel like it's the best mayonnaise. Okay, so now I'm going to incorporate those two eggs that we beat up earlier. And a half cup of mozzarella cheese. And then a cup of cheddar cheese. Now I'm just going to give everything a good stir. And I'm just going to add a teaspoon of black peppercorns in there. If you don't have black peppercorns, you can always substitute this for black pepper. And I'm just going to give this one more good stir. Then I'm going to take the back of my spoon just to smooth it out so it's even. Even. 
So now I'm going in with a blend of two different cheeses. I'm using Monterey Jack cheese and cheddar cheese. And I'm going to be layering this. So basically I add one layer of cheese and then one layer of Ritz crackers and then another layer of cheese and then another layer of Ritz crackers. And I put my crackers in the blender. If you guys do not have a blender, you can always just do it the old school way with a Ziploc bag and just crush it up. But putting it in the blender will definitely save you some time. So pretty much all together, I'd say I probably used about a cup of cheese for the top. Okay, so now that I'm finally done layering it, I'm going to add some butter on top. And I'm just doing this to ensure that the crust and the cheese on top does not dry out in the oven. Okay, so now I'm going to set my oven to 350. And I'm going to set my timer for about 45 minutes. And I am just going to pop that in the oven and let that cook. All right, so it has been about 45 minutes, so I'm gonna check on this casserole. To me, it looks about done. I know some people like their casserole a little bit more on the crunchy side. If you do, I suggest cooking it on broil for about five minutes, but this is how I like mine, so I'm gonna take mine out. So you wanna let this cool off for about 15 minutes before you cut into it, just so it can stick together better, but I can't wait, so I'm gonna cut me a piece now so you guys can see what the inside looks like. As you can see, it's super creamy and super cheesy. You guys definitely should try this recipe. And that is the final product, guys. Let me know what you think about this recipe in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you guys have any suggestions or questions. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.